Now we're going to look at missing number calculations. Here we have 5 equals 2 plus something. So the question is asking us, what do we need to add to 2 to make 5? Well, let's look at our number line. We're on 2, and how many jumps do we need to make in order to get to 5? Well, let's count 1, 2, 3 jumps, so that tells us that 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, you might be looking at that, and you might be thinking, aren't the numbers written the wrong way round? Shouldn't you write 2 plus 3 and then have an equal sign and then have a 5 the other side of it? Now, you're probably used to seeing additions written that way round, but actually it doesn't matter. The equal sign just tells you that there's the same value, you have the same value either side of it. So maybe one person had five sweets, and another person had two sweets, and was then given another three sweets. So in this case, the equal sign would just tell us that they now have the same number of sweets. Now this looks a little bit confusing, but just remember the equal sign just means is the same as and you'll be able to work this out. So on the left over here, we have 3 plus 5. I'm going to add that on a number line, and remember when we're adding on a number line, it's easier to start with the largest number. So let's start on 5 and go along 1, 2, 3. So we've landed on the number 8, so we know 3 plus 5 is 8. So now, over here on the right, we have 10 minus something. And we know that the answer has to equal 8, because it has to be the same as 3 plus 5. So putting the question another way, how many do we have to take away from 10 to get 8? Well, we're on 10, and we need to know how many jumps back we need to make to land on 8. So I can see that we just need 1, 2 jumps. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. And that equals sign tells us that our answers are the same. Now we have 8 take away 5 equals 1 plus something. And we have to find that missing number. So let's do 8 subtract 5. We're on 8. And we can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps backwards. And we've landed on 3. But it's really important to remember that 3 is not the answer to our question. I can't write a 3 in that missing number box. So pause the video and see if you can think about that and explain why can't I write a 3 in this missing number box over here? Because I've got to 3 on my number line down here, but I can't write 3 here. Why not? Well, if one side of the equal sign is 3, the other side has to be 3 as well. So what I have to do over here is I have to think 1 plus something is 3. So if I'm on 1, how many do I need, how many jumps do I need to make to get to 3? Well, I need 1, 2 jumps, so 1 plus 2 is 3. And if I write 2 here, then both sides of the equal sign give me the same amount. 8 minus 5 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. Now we've got 7 minus 2 equals 9 minus something. So if I'm on 7 and I go back 1, 2, that gives me 5. So 7 minus 2 is 5. And I need both sides of the equal sign 
to give me the same number. So I need to think 9 minus something is 5. So let's start on 9. How many jumps back do we need to get to 5? Well, we need 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. So our answer is 4. Now someone might look at the screen here and say, so here you got 5 on your number line, and here you got 5 on your number line. So why did you write the number 4 in your missing number box? Why didn't you write 5? What would you say to that person to help them understand? So see if you can explain why writing 5 in the missing number box would be wrong.